Even if you've never heard of the Richards Group ad agency, you almost certainly know its clients, Motel 6 and Dr. Packbird, just to name two. Now the ad agency is feeling the heat because of racial comments the founder made. Here's Matt Howerton. I am willing to bet you recognize these classic commercials. It's unstoppable. And the agency behind them. We'll leave the light on for you. Is right here in Dallas, the Richards Group. But right now, a company that competes for your attention. I learned a long time ago. Well, all eyeballs are on its founder, Stan. It's not a good day at the Richards Company. Let me just say that. It's PR 101. Apologize, make it right. The Richards Group touts itself as the biggest independent ad agency in America, but a longtime client of 30 plus years, Motel 6, parted ways Wednesday, reportedly because Stan Richards called a recent ad pitch celebrating black artists, quote, too black for the motel's white supremacist audience. In a statement, Richards apologized, but didn't deny anything, reiterating that he doesn't tolerate racism, but thought the ad wasn't multiculturally inclusive enough, saying, I misspoke and commented using words I greatly regret, including three I never should have said, it's too black. He owned it. Amy Power runs the Power Group, a Dallas PR firm. She says Richards did the right thing by accepting blame. In every crisis, there's an opportunity and they just have to figure out what that opportunity is for them. But the fallout has been rough. Home Depot also cut ties with Richards, and so did Cracker Barrel and Keurig Dr. Pepper. Jill Lublin, a publicity expert in the Bay Area, saw it coming. So they just took themselves out of the equation. Sometimes that's easier than trying to explain it all publicly. It's a tough lesson, but one this ad giant likely knows. Words matter. In Dallas, I'm Matt Howard. Now, the Richards Group has more than 600 employees and generates more than $170 million in revenue. The agency issued a statement saying, quote, we understand and regret the pain and concerns of all those who were deeply troubled by the words our founder spoke. He can't take them back. We can only ask for forgiveness and promise to learn and be better. We ask our many friends for understanding and prayers as we move forward.